Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son Isaac will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. All, all right, everybody. Welcome to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Now, if you saw just before I added in the little cutscene, um, yeah, I did. Uh, I did. I showed you guys the cutscene there uh, because I figured, you know, might as well show you everything of the game. But um, yeah, I've been waiting for this game for a long time. <laughs> it's been a while since they've announced it. And I've been extremely excited f for it. Um, so, this is going to be a series that's going to be going on my channel for however long I wish it to be. Which could be long, could be, you know, short. I'm not entirely sure. It depends on, you know, how well it's received. Uh, because if it's not going to be received well, I might as well just play something else in its place. And play it just on my own, off camera, I guess. But... But yeah, I've been I've been waiting for this game a lot. I've played about like two or three runs off camera on a different file, and uh, wow, the game is amazing. I don't know anything about anything. Um, I've yeah. Okay, let's okay. Um, the original Binding of Isaac is extremely good. Um, it's a very good game. Now, let's see what we got. We got obviously we have nothing. Um, we have absolutely nothing. Here's all the items. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's like three pages worth of items here. Supposedly, there's secrets as well, which we obviously don't have any of. And we got these challenges here, which we will do. Uh, I'm planning on trying to finish the game on camera. Um, but yeah, we're gonna turn the gamma up just a little bit because I'm afraid that the game will look a little dark. Okay, so obviously we have no characters unlocked since I have not played any on this uh, this file yet. Um, but yeah, I have not played very much of the game at all. Um, I just wanted to play it to kind of give myself a understanding of how the game is going to play so I didn't be complete batshit when I uh, started. So... Let's start. So, basement one. The first item we get is Yum Heart. Okay. Wow. 
What can I say, man? <laughs> this game looks uh, really good. On top of that, it gets recorded by Fraps now. On top of that, um, it is full screen. So, that is really awesome. I'm gonna open that real quick. So those stone chests, you open them with bombs instead of uh, like just uh, a key or something like that, which I think is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool mechanic. It's new to the game. Um, yeah, let's. Ooh, that was close. It wouldn't have hit me, but it's not a big deal, I guess. But let's continue. I didn't want to start a series on the original Binding of Isaac because I felt it wasn't needed. I mean, come on, Northern Lion already had. 900 or so episodes, which is incredibly ridiculous on a three-year-old game. But hey, man, I did take some bad damage there, but let's not talk about that. Um, let's fight Macho. Let's kill this guy. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of mechanics to this game that I have no idea about, at least new ones that I have no idea about. Um, sorry, I was turning down some of the volume so that it doesn't leak into my mic. Um, but yeah, the game is extremely, it runs extremely well. It's, it's just, I'm, a, I'm really pleased with how it came out. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel too different from the original. And uh, I think that's a really good thing to have when you're making a remake of a certain game. Is to not make it feel completely different just to make it look and add and fix stuff from the original that needed to be done or why how forever whatever reason you're making a remake of the game in the first place um i don't know if that made any sense but let's just get out of here i think i think that's it for this floor yeah we don't have any bombs to find the secret room so um, if you guys have any questions, like, about, you know, mechanics or something, because I know a lot of the mechanics, the, the main mechanics anyways, um, and what to do for certain, you know, situations, I guess, and what a lot of the items do, because I played a lot of the original, um, I'm a long time player of that, uh, it was an amazing game, you definitely play this or that one, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but both of them are obviously amazing games. Um, if you've never heard about it, I'd be surprised. Um, but then again, a lot of people haven't heard about it. Alright, that's, okay. He's gonna blow up. Step on that guy and that guy. Whatever. Let's continue. So we found our item room pretty quickly. Which I'm, I'm happy about. This is actually a room from the original... I have played a lot of the original, and I kind of recently uh, played it a lot because uh, I was getting ready for Rebirth. Um, but yeah, I've had this game pre-ordered for a while now. Sad Onion, by the way, is really good. It's going to up our fire rate by a good amount. Alright. But yeah, um, there's going to be so many items that I have no idea their effects and what they do and stuff, which I'm really excited for. Um, I had gotten... To the point where I knew basically what every single item in the original game did. And, you know, that's no fun. You never want to... Ooh, I almost picked that up. I guess it really didn't matter. So, let's just go ahead and pick the Eternal Heart up. The Eternal Heart, what it does, um, is when you go down to the next floor, if you still have it, that is, um, it will turn into a complete heart container. If that makes sense to you. Should, it probably should, right? I have no idea. If it doesn't, let me know. Oh, okay. Dingle. You're difficult. It's one of the new bosses, so... I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't take a few... Or a bunch of damage. Oh, whoa. Incredibly close. He does go through a period of, like, being... Oh! I could have dodged that out of the way of that. Pretty easily. There we go. This guy has a lot of health. Thought it'd be a little easier. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Okay, I think I know the guy's patterns. Whenever he does it, he does it in a three. And when he does it three times, he breathes for a little bit. He takes a breather. Okay, Monstro's Tooth has appeared in the basement. What is this? Magic Scab. HP plus luck. Okay. 
So that gave us an HP upgrade. We're gonna have a, a good amount of health. We also gotta deal with the devil here. Which is, I think that's Horror of Babylon, and that, that's actually, I think it's a good item. Whoa, hey. That's, uh, hmm. I don't think that's gonna be good for now, because, okay, what Guppy's Paw does is it uh, converts a heart container into three spirit hearts. Or the blue hearts, anyways. Armor, I guess you could call it, which I'm not going to, but... Okay, so we got Gimpy, Sweet Suffering. I'm guess you know, I'm, this what this does is it gives you like a spirit heart every once in a while when you get hit. Um, I think that's what it does. It's actually new to the game. I actually did watch a few Let's Plays of the game before I started. Um, a few episodes of a Let's Play anyways. Because um, I was so hyped about it, you know. I was incredibly excited for this game. Um, let's see. We don't have much to do here. Mm. Let's go here and pick up whatever that is. What is that? Fanny pack filled with goodies. Okay. Interesting. No idea what that does. But let's move on like we do, I suppose. Alright, so now we're going to get an extra health container. We had three before. Now we're going to have four. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped that. Uh, reflex from the original. <laughs> Uh, oh. Okay. Absolutely nothing in this room. That's weird. Oh, I didn't expect to take damage there. Oh, okay, that was close. Could have swore I was going to take a little bit there. So, we're going to go to this big room first. Uh, this is not fun. Oh, I took damage there. Um, this isn't good. Now, if you're a little... <laughs> it does throw you off, right? The uh, bigger rooms have, like, a, a scroll effect. And it, it can throw you off a little bit because, you know, obviously it's new to the Binding of Isaac. Oh, my God. I need to concentrate. Let's get this. Can you... Uh... Oh. Ooh, I think I killed one, right? Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now, if if you've been with me a long time, you'll know that I have an episode or two of, of The Binding of Isaac, of the original. And uh, don't go watch it. It was terrible. I, it was when I had, I know... Or I knew nothing, absolutely nothing, about the game. Sorry, I'm taking forever. Oh my god. Just die. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yes. I almost took damage. Oh my god. Why is this room so difficult for me? Mm. Okay. Oh god, yep. Can you... Oh god. This is so bad! I'm so sorry! <laughs> oh. oh, got a little bit of a frame rate dip there. For probably no reason. Oh my Jesus Christ. I am so bad. Don't take any more goddamn damage. Okay. Well, obviously, we would have been dead there. I, oh my, I just realized how bad I am. What is this? Butt bombs, toxic blast, plus five bombs. Okay, it's interesting. Um, let's just leave that room. That was disgustingly bad. Okay, okay, buddy, calm down. They throw bones really fast, and I don't like it. All right, buddy. All right, got through that room. Oh, this opened. Yeah, we're not gonna use that there. Two keys when we only have two keys. Let's no. Ah, didn't mean to take damage there. Honestly, just kidding. I obviously wanted to take damage there. It's for uh, a strategy that works. 
Ooh, that was close. Maybe it wouldn't have been... Maybe it would have been less close. Oh! Uh, I hope you die, please. Oh my god. This is a little... Off-putting. Uh, not too great at this game, obviously. Alright. A much easier room than the past few. Much, much easier. Which I'll gladly take, you know. It's easier, so... It's not like we lose anything for, you know, going through easier rooms. This one's pretty easy, too. I'm hoping to be. It was pretty close, but... Alright, there we go. We're gaining our health back here. Which is something we obviously want to do. Okay, Gertie. This is gonna suck sh My terrible item that I picked up. The uh, one that gave me the mask. It's called something. I forgot what it's called already. Okay, buddy. Don't hurt me anymore. He, is, he has so much goddamn health. It's ridiculous. Alright. Slowly but surely we'll get through this. Whoa. Wasn't prepared for that shot he made. By the way, the soundtrack for this game is amazing. Loving it so far. Alright. Oh. Alright. We're gonna get through this, guys. I don't know if you know this. Let's put that there. Ah. Okay. So it, like, stinks up the entire room. Okay, that's a good item. I will take that. Alright, so... We have go gone to our item room, our item room already. So, let's... Finish the rest of this area. All oh, right, those guys don't stop shooting. Let's. All right, this is. Oh, almost hit me there. Okay. For some reason I thought these holes were rocks, so I didn't expect their bullets to go over them. It's useless. I'm not gonna sit there and do that. Okay. Also. These videos may or may not be longer than any other kinds of videos I've made before. Because honestly, I have no long how each I have no idea how long each run is going to be. Um, considering that the game gets longer the more you play it. So just uh, kinda be ready for that. Okay, Larry. You calm down. You calm down. Oh, that was close, but not close enough. All right, we'll let we'll do that. We'll open this. Decent drop. Got a key out of it. I'm happy with that. Okay, these guys. Yeah, I know you, bone ass. There we go. But yeah, none of the mechanics are really different from the original. It it just it feels. It doesn't feel different, it just feels smoother. Like, it, I think that's really cool that they were able to, uh, completely mimic the, uh, original game, even on a completely, di a complete new engine, you know? I think that's a really good accomplishment on their part, is to make the game as similar as possible, but improve it. And also completely changed the art style, which really works for it. I'm, I really enjoy the art style. I didn't know how much I was going to. But I can't say I'm displeased, man. It's uh, it's really nice. Alright. Let's, uh... Whoop, that was close. So we want, what we want to kind of end up doing is finding the item room as soon as possible. So we can get our item from this floor. That was close. We do do a good amount of damage. I'm not going to complain about that right now. Because uh, it's it's a good amount of damage. I'm fine with it. Whoa. Alright, guys. Stop spawning spiders. 
Okay. Okay. I expected to get a, a little damage there, but I didn't, so I'm happy. Okay. There it is, I guess. Let's get rid of this guy. Alright. It does have a, a really incredible new kind of um, atmosphere to it that the original didn't really have. Just in the fact of the music and the kind of, it's, I think it's got a little bit of background noise in it um, of like water. And I think that's really cool. It really makes you feel like, oh, okay. There goes our spirit heart. Okay. We're obviously going to open that. We've got the bombs for it. Okay, that was useless. That's okay, though. Man, if I could fly, this would be great. So great, but we can't, so... Let's just forget about that dream, I guess. Alright. So, yeah, these big rooms are interesting. Okay, buddy. Um, this is actually a boss, but it's not. It's, it's one of the basement bosses, I think. Obviously, it didn't have as much health as the boss would, but it's basically it's the same enemy. Okay, oh, almost took two hits of damage there. Alright, here's our item room. Rainbow baby, alright. Hmm. So... Yeah, it shoots random tears, which is good, I guess. We did kill the boss already, right? I'm pretty sure we did. No, we did not. It's going to be a difficult one because it's a... Oh, okay. This is actually really good. I'm glad we came to this curse room. I'm not sure what it does, though. It gives me sin up. Which I have no idea what that does. If you guys could help me down in the comments and let me know what sin is, what kind of stat it is, I don't believe it's on here. So, yeah. <laughs> it could be just an imaginary stat and actually mean, like, damage or something. But, I have no idea. So we're gonna be fighting two Widows here, which is, uh Kind of bad, but... I think it's the, probably... I guess it's not impossible. We do have a good amount of damage, so it's not like it's... Too impossible. Man. Alright, let's not get hit by that spider. Alright guys, you guys can calm your yourselves down. Whatever I'm trying to say with my English right now. Alright, there goes two. Alright, Lily little chubby has appeared in the basement. Decent. It's gonna give us an HP up. Good. Is that all? That is that it. I think Go to the more difficult room first. Okay, that was an accident. But it cleared the room out. Grab that key. Alright. Mm, we can afford it. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that worked out. In a way. Gave us more bombs and money. Didn't give us an incredible amount of stuff, but... Still decent. Didn't give us an item or anything, which is depressing, which I I wanted it to. Alright. Let's deal with these guys. Alright. There we go. Finish that without taking damage, I think. <laughs> okay, these guys. Don't like them. These guys were the, in the original, so I kind of know how to deal with them without taking an incredible amount of damage or, a, you know, a terrible amount of damage anyways. Although we didn't take any room damage on that room anyways, so I guess what I said is correct. No damage is not terrible damage. You guys need to die before you do that. Too late. Okay, good. Oh, that was close. All right. Oh, well, I, I'm an idiot. I didn't see the creep. 
do our best not to get hit by this turret in the middle. I think we did a good job there. Here's our item room, which we definitely are going to go to. Okay, that was unexpected. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this. That was terrible. I, I went in, not touching the spikes, but I touched the chest, and that kind of okay. Who's this? Little brimstone, evil friend. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that. It's an interesting item. That's oh man, that's pretty awesome. All right. Oh, rosary bead. Oh, does he auto fire ever? No. I was hoping he auto fired or something. It's kind of just like a. All you need to do is let go of the trigger. Oh wow, that made that boss incredibly easy. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, okay. Pentagrams, good. I'll take that. Here's our deal with the devil. Let's check out what's going on here. We got the mark. And guppies, or, and guppy. Alright, bomb. Get away from me. We're gonna take the mark. Because I enjoy damage. And I enjoy killing things with high damage. Let's see what else do we have here. We still got a good amount of the floor to explore. Oh, got it rhymed. By accident. I'm gonna play this once. Okay. Bible tract. Faith up. Um, I don't think we're going to take that because the rosary bead, because the rosary item gives you spirit hearts. I'm guessing that the rosary bead will give me more spirit hearts or something. So I'm going to take a gamble and guess that this one's probably better than the Bible tract thing. These guys are new, new enemies. Kill them. Alright, more hearts. It's fine by me. Okay. It's kind of uh, difficult to aim little baby brimstone brimstone here. But he does charge pretty quick, so I guess I can't really complain. What? Excuse me? Oh, what? Oh! What? Uh. Okay. Oh. Oh. That was an enemy, wasn't it? I'm guessing this is an enemy, so I'm just gonna keep one and running around here. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. We can afford to blow that up, so let's do it. Gave us a bomb and a penny, which you know obviously isn't amazing. Here's our shop. What's this gonna do? Charge with blood. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe that's the nun's habit, because it sounds like you know you get to charge your spacebar or you charge something when you take damage. I'm guessing. So I'm guessing that you know that's what it means. Is you're gonna charge your item every time you get hit, or so. Maybe not every time you get hit, but. Usually. Alright. I don't want to go to that curse room because I have a sin heart, whatever I guess you call it. A black heart. Where's our boss room? It's this way. So let's head out. Let us leave this cruel area. Is there anything else over here? Nope. Alright. Looks like we're going on to the next level. Now this is going to be the level. Okay, I should I should stop skipping those freaking cutscenes, shouldn't I? I don't know if there's any new ones, but I uh, guess we could find out. I didn't see any when uh, I played my two runs or so. All right. Okay, what's this? 
Explosive di- oh, okay. <laughs> that was actually in the original game. But, uh, they put it out, or they took it out, I guess. So I guess they re-added it into this one. Which is pretty interesting. Okay. Didn't even kill them all. Because I, uh... So if you, if you don't understand what the black heart does, the black heart, uh, whenever you... Whenever, oh jeez, whenever you lose an entire black heart, it kills all the enemies in the room, or at least it damages them all. Okay. Oh, there's still guys here, I didn't notice. We have a pretty decent amount of damage right now, but, you know, you can never have too much damage. Two of diamonds, we'll use that eventually. This is just death. So we're going to retake that. And then not take damage on these spikes. That was close. Alright. Rainbow poop. I have absolutely no idea what that does. Okay, we can actually do this. Let's check this out. Okay, that was useless. Right? Yeah, it was. Just gave us a pill that was locked down, so that was useless. Okay, it's fine. Can I? I'm gonna do it. Place a bomb there. Hit that. Okay, now we can definitely, you know, consider taking this uh, two of diamonds now. Because that would give us 60 cents, which is pretty damn good. Oh, jeez. If I didn't take so much goddamn damage. Oh, my God. I swear I'm not this bad at every game I play. Alright. Calm down. I did a good amount of damage. There's, I thought I killed one of them. Can you pop up? Oh my gosh. Die! Thank you. It's ridiculous. Okay. Now, obviously... Oh, I... Ah... I think it's kind of ridiculous that they have like three different types of those spider wall climbers. Uh oh. This could not be good. Uh. Okay, there's one. Let's see if I can just use my baby to take him out. Baby, charge. It's working. There we go. Oh. Almost walked over the spikes there. Wouldn't have been good. So we've got our shop here, right? Yep. The ladder. Hmm. I don't know if I will. I don't think I will. Let's check out our... Oh, what's this? Pyromaniac, it hurts so good. Plus five bombs. Okay, so we got two bomb items now. Interesting. Okay, we dropped a penny there. Actually, oh, there's actually a penny over here, too. Let's grab that. That's the boss trap room. There we go. Pick up these hearts. Don't want to die just yet. Check out what's going on down here. Alright. Fine by me. Okay, this is interesting. Okay. So those enemies are... Oh, what? Just hit me. Confused. Oh, well. We shall continue. There's nothing actually over here at all. Color me uh, interested. What are these? I've never seen these enemies before. Okay. Odd. Let's, uh... We can fight the boss, because it's not the Depths 2, right? It doesn't actually say. Does it... Will it say here? No, it won't. That's the seed, guys, if you want to go play the same run. See if you can do better than me. Oh, this is the mom fight. Okay. Let's do our best then. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Not doing too bad. The mom fight is one of the more difficult bosses that you have to fight every time, no matter what. Obviously, but um, this, the way they changed it is they didn't really change it much at all, really. It's still basically the same uh, fight. Um, same uh, strategies and stuff like that. Although I am excited to see the different kind of champions of bosses there are. Because uh, in the original there was always different... Oh. There were um, different versions of the same boss that you could fight. Here, there we go. Isaac was cornered. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. Okay, that's loud. Um, Alright, so that was uh, the first episode of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. If you enjoyed it, um, obviously leave a like or a comment and stuff like that down below and let me know what you thought of the uh, first episode. Um, this is going to be on my channel for a while, probably. Um, so yeah, don't forget to uh, leave some, you know, feedback down below. Tell me what you think. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna lock in some stuff. The Harbingers, uh, those Kuba meat. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the, the very first episode of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Later.